Hi, boys and girls. I'm the reading teacher. Thank you for reading with us today. Now, we're reading a fiction story today, and I'm wondering if you can remember some of the reasons that authors write fiction stories. Can you share some? Do authors write to entertain us? Yes. Do fiction stories sometimes make us laugh? Yes. Could the author write a fiction story to make us cry? Yes. How about to teach us a lesson? Yes. All right. All those things are true about fiction stories. And I'm going to let you figure out why the author wrote this next book that we're going to read. It's called Jabari Jumps. And it's by Gia Cornwall. Here we go. Jabari Jumps. Oh, he's taking off his clothes and putting on his swim trunks. Look, he's got his goggles on. I bet we know where he's headed. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary. But Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, 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 splash. Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. All right, now we have to do some inferring here. That means we have to use the clues from the text, the picture, and put those with our own schema. That means what's in our own heads about this topic. And think about what does that mean? His dad squeezed his hand and Jabari squeezed back. What do you think it's telling us about how Jabari is feeling? Did you say that he's still pretty nervous? I think you're right. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what special kind of jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Look at all these kids have gone. And he's still there and he hasn't even moved up. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should come down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to be a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes, if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. All right. Are your brains already predicting what he's going to do? His toes curled around the rough edge. Jabari looked out. As far as he could see, he felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. 
down, down, down he went. And then back up. Whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. He's feeling pretty confident. All right. I asked you to think about why do you think this author wrote this fiction story? What was her purpose? Did you say to help teach us a lesson? That it's okay to face your fears? That's what I was thinking too. All right, boys and girls, I hope you liked this book that I read, Jabari Jumps. He was such a sweet little character. I am going to pick out another great book and pretty soon I will share another book with you. So I hope that you're watching and waiting for the next one to come on up. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.